There are hundreds of names throughout both the Hebrew scriptures and the Christian scriptures. Uh, the Islamic community uh, uses uh, usually the term Allah, but we believe that is the same God as, uh, as all of the rest of us worship. Allah is the proper Arabic name for God. Muslims believe in and worship the same God that Jews and Christians worship. Allah is a unique term with no plural and no gender. It predates Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, and it was also used in the form of El, Elah, in Elohim by David, Moses, Jesus, and other messengers of God. Peace be upon them all. If you go to many Middle Eastern or African countries, and you go to any church, you would hear them refer to God as Allah, because that is the word in those languages to speak about God. So what is the difference really? I think that there is really no difference. It is just how we think about God and we, give, we speak about God with different names and different ways depending on the experience and the scripture and the tradition that we have. The theological background of Islam, the historical antecedents of Islam, which are the same as Christianity and Judaism, uh, we are clearly worshiping the same God. There's no doubt in my mind that we are under the same God and that Allah is the name for God in Islamic tradition. I think the Islamic concept of God, the understanding of God, uh, God is sovereign. God holds the world together. God, um, I smile because I can say, I want to say God is God <laughs> and there is no, n none like him. Uh, and uh, that is something that binds all humans together, humanity together. Uh, and what we miss in America in many ways, because of our brash culture, there's a, there's a lot of wonderful freedom in America, but because we're free, there's also a lot of trash, trashy culture. And there's also, frankly, I think a lot of trashy religion. And uh, what this culture could recover, and I think Islamic, uh, Islamic peoples in America could help us recover is what I call the sovereignty and priority of God. What it is to be under God who holds us all in being. And over and over again, uh, when one thinks as a Christian, I think of the way the name of Allah is invoked over and over again with great awe, great reverence. I think that is uh, Islam's great contribution uh, to our recovering, our, our Christians recovering their own sense of the transcendent, their own sense of the, what I would call the otherness of God, the majesty of God, which uh, in many ways our culture has lost. <laughs>